gaming monitor. I use monitors all the time. I am constantly editing videos and playing video games, mostly just Overwatch 2 at the moment. Defeat. This bad boy came at a pretty good time because, well, I suck at Overwatch 2, and maybe that's just because my screens are filthy 120 hertz screens. This one gets up to 240, which is faster. Let's, let's unbox this. Hyper X, we're all gamers. Is, is that a threat? All right. Holy shit. This is, <laughs> this is a lot to take in. Congrats on joining the HyperX family. Is that a threat? So we've got a, a very long instruction booklet. Oh my God. Is this, well, this might end up being a longer video than I thought um, based on all that. Ooh, it's nice and weighty. I need a pile of, uh, do you want this? Take it, whatever, eat the plastic. <laughs> Rusty's my bin. Is that a DisplayPort cable? And it's massive, look at that. And it's a HyperX branded too. <laughs> HDMI cable as well. Wow, they really, they really treat you here at HyperX. Thank you. Thank you. He's getting tired. <laughs> it's great that this comes with this this desk uh, clamp rather than a, a proper legged stand. That's that's pretty much the big selling point of this that you get get the get the desk clamp straight away. But it does mean it's coming with a lot more moving parts than you would normally get with a monitor. Because yeah, you don't normally have to spend this much time like constructing it. Love that it comes with Allen keys though. All right, I think that's everything from this top layer. Look at this amount of cardboard. Like, I don't really know else how you'd pack something like this when there's so much going on, but this is a bit much. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure. Oh, Rusty's licking his lips at this. All right, the actual product is here. The, the FHD, meaning 1080p, 250 hertz gaming monitor. It is super light. That's pretty small. 69, nice. Six star energy rating, also nice. Um, very light. On the bottom, it comes with a pretty simple layout. You've got one display port and two HDMI's as well as the power supply on the left there. Oh, also you've got the uh, controls right here. It's like a tiny Nintendo 64 analog stick there. That's cute. And uh, a big power button. That's the unboxing experience. Let's... Let's set it up. If you're using the included clamp, the setup process is actually fairly simple. You basically just have to slot everything together. So that just clips right on. That was great. No needing to screw the back or take off rear panels or anything like that. That's definitely a benefit of having the arm come included with the monitor. You know it's gonna to work together. I thought that would take a lot longer. That that took like two minutes. It's a little disappointing that this is the uh, this is the only way to to clip the cable in. I've had other arms in the past where you can kind of funnel it through the top and then you put a little little plastic covering on the top. I've broken a couple of those as well, so they're not perfect either, but it is a lot nicer and better looking than um, having this cable running along the bottom here. Like if there's hollow space in this part, that, that would be nicer, but for the most part, it's pretty good. The plastic does feel a little flimsy. Like I've already twisted this one a little bit. The rest of the arm though is really nice. It's solid. It kind of snaps into place where you want it. Like this is good. Oh, does it twist? Does it twist? Yep, perfect. Okay, this is actually pretty sick. I'm not gonna lie. I might just leave this here and see if anyone complains. <laughs> oh, isn't that nice? A system update. Ryan is I'm meant to be trying to, <laughs> trying to film a video. Okay. All right, immediate impressions. It's definitely HD. I spend most of my day looking at a fairly big 4K display and, and this definitely, the resolution is noticeably lower, but that, that doesn't mean it's bad. I, I don't mind the 1080p display, but it is very noticeable. It doesn't have built-in speakers, so you'll, you will be wanting to get yourself a headset if you uh, pair your PC with one of these. All right, let's fire up some games. And yeah, immediately you can tell it's very sharp. There's very little latency. Kratos is running around, he's picking flowers. It looks smooth as a baby's bottom. Look at that. Smooth as no screen tearing. This is this is a legit gaming monitor. I'm not gonna do a scientific review on um, whether the colors and stuff look good. I quite like the look out of this. It's sharp, it's the right amount of vibrant. The only thing I don't love about it is if is the viewing angle, but with monitors, it doesn't really matter. They're normally just for you. 
um, you you kind of have it front on all the time anyway. So that's that's not a huge miss, but I ha I do notice when you're when you've kind of got it tilted this far, like that far around, it's not it's not great. You kind of lose a lot of the contrast quite quickly. But yeah, otherwise, this is. This is a smooth criminal. <laughs> All right, so after cleaning up Rusty's mess, are you happy with yourself? I spent the rest of the night playing more games such as the slower turn-based Magic the Gathering and a heap more Overwatch, of course. Yeah, that was a team kill. I hope we got that on camera. Still recording. I also enjoyed some YouTube and this morning I've been editing my own videos on here. It's all been pretty great. The only thing that I kind of don't love about this is the price. It's not by any means too expensive. It's $719 for this 25 inch version, but there are monitors that you can get that do 240 Hertz for a lot less. For that price, you can get 4K monitors. You can even get some with HDR. For an extra 60 bucks, you could get the 27 inch version of this. That one drops down to 165 Hertz, but it does get HDR and the resolution is 2K. It's also a little bit bigger than this. And all of those things, I think, tick more boxes for what I want, which is just general multi-purpose use over what this is, which is pretty much just for pure gaming. It's funny, as much as I love the 240Hz display, the thing that I'm most impressed by this is actually the arm. So if you do go to the 27 inch version, you are getting something like this as well, which is really awesome. It's just really easy to move around. The clamp is solid. Uh, and you just get everything that you need to, to mount it in the box, including the cables. Basically, if you know that you want a gaming monitor purely for gaming and purely for smoothness and speed, this monitor is a great pick, especially if you are already considering getting a monitor arm. This, this comes highly recommended just for that alone. But yeah, if this video was helpful or informative, uh, let me know in the comments. I would love to hear your feedback and uh, hit subscribe if you like me because after playing Overwatch 2 for the last two days, I assure you my self-confidence is in the toilet. What is it with Overwatch players and being rude, honestly? All right, I'm gonna go play more Overwatch. <laughs>